Hey, what's up guys? So you have a Philips Android TV remote where it's not working or it's uh, basically unresponsive or it is like delayed or has a slow response. I'm going to give you several solutions, get you up and running now. Take note that this is only going to work for like 50% of you guys, but this is a really easy possible fix. So first thing I want you to do is turn your TV on, have it on. While it's on, I want you to go ahead and pull the plug from the outlet, okay? So just pull the plug like that, wait 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, go ahead and plug it back in and then turn on your TV and then see if your remote is working properly. If it's still down, we're gonna to go to the next possible solution. So the next thing I want you to do is go ahead and grab your remote and I want you to go ahead and take out the batteries. Now after you take out both the batteries, turn the remote over and you have the power button right here. What I want you to do is press and hold this power button. Do not let go. Press and hold it for 15 seconds. After 15 seconds is up, let go. And now what I want you to do is I want you to spam every single button. Starting with the power button here, just press it in and out. Every single button on here, every single one, press in and out. Because what typically happens if, you know, if you got water in the remotes or uh, soda or drinks or hand lotion or sweat or, or maybe um, drool if you have a kid or whatnot, if it, if it causes an issue on one button, it can cause other issues on the remote, okay? So get every, tap every single button on here, get everything all nice and loose, every single button. Sometimes you can kind of feel like one button's not pushing in right or something like that, and usually that's the culprit. Just keep pressing in and out really hard until it's like nice and loose. Every, even up here on the Netflix, Voodoo, Google Play, skip all of this, okay? And then give it a couple whacks. Now go ahead and put your batteries back in. Don't put your back plate on yet, okay? Just put the batteries back in and then see if your, your remote is now working properly. If it's not, do the same thing over again, okay? Just pull out the batteries again. Press and hold the power button for 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, let go. And then start spamming, starting with the power button. Start spamming. Every single button on here, just go crazy with it. Get everything all nice and loose. Give it a couple whacks. And then reinsert the batteries and then try it again, okay? Now the thing is, if you're still down, then do the same step, try the same step up to six times, okay? Usually it takes me like the third time and then it works, okay? So I try it up to six times. However, if it didn't work on the sixth time, then the next thing I want you to do is go ahead and grab yourself another pair of AAA batteries. It doesn't necessarily have to be brand new batteries. Just get an, um, another, I, I've, I've had this issue where I just got a, a different pair of batteries from like a different remote. And before you put the uh, new batteries in, do the same thing, okay? Press and hold that power button for 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, let go. And then spam every single button on here. Give it a couple whacks. And then go ahead and pop those new batteries in and then see if your remote is working properly. Like I said, this should work for 50% of you guys. So if this worked for you, um, give me a thumbs up and let me know which method worked for you. And if it didn't work for you, give me a thumbs down. We should have a 50-50 thumbs up, thumbs down. All right, good luck, guys.